Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, When Tay Talk. I am Tay, and I am here for another episode of Here We Go With The Bush. Y'all, here we go with the bush. Y'all, Ken, Trish, and Marquez then got into it on Instagram and hunty it's a fucking mess all right let's get into the mess first things first everything on the channel is alleged and in my opinion and for entertainment purposes only please like this video subscribe to the channel and also click the bell notification so that you know each and every time your girl upload a new video share the video with family friends enemies frenemies whomever you would like just share them all file okay Get your girl back in the algorithm. Sick of it. Well, let's go. Child, so while we was over there on Patreon having a good time last night, Ken and Trish was showing their entire ass. Entire ass. And y'all know Empress broke it. Empress, that motherfucking Empress. Y'all gotta give her ass a damn shout out. Like, shout out to Empress Radio because she do not play no games with them breaking damn stories. Period. Okay? She, it be like right in it when it's happening. Okay? She was on it. So, big ups to Empress because these where I got the little screenshots from too. Um, from Empress Radio. And, child, it is a mess. I cannot fucking sleep. So I damn near been up most of the damn night looking like a damn fool. But I said, wait a minute. I forgot Empress had dropped this tea. Let me go see what's going on. Let me talk about this shit. Why this shit fresh on my mind. Because I know in about 15 damn minutes my ass gonna be sleepy than a mofo. Okay? So let me get into this. So, um... We know that first Trish had an interview with Carlos and Dr. Heavenly. Then Ken did one. He was supposed to do it with Trish, but they got into it. And he um, did his after. Then, and they probably just did that to try to set the stage like they had got into it. So they didn't do it together because both of them couldn't be lying at the same damn time. Apparently, in my opinion. I don't know. And then um, they had one with Marquez. Most people, after Marquez won, people were, like, on his side um, with the shits. I already told y'all, I don't give a damn when women cheat on men because most of the time either is they pay back for doing that shit to somebody else or they cheating as well and the woman is cheating. Most of the time, women don't cheat on faithful men. It just don't happen like that. I know it happened every once in a while, every blue moon, but usually it don't happen like that. So I don't be giving a fuck when men get cheated on. It just is what it is, okay? Call me biased. I don't give a damn, okay? So, um, and like I said, Marquez pulled some people in. He pulls, he pulled the crowd in. And, and, since he was team Melody, Carlos didn't like that shit. I knew some shit was going to pop off, but I didn't know this was going to pop off. Ken kept referring to Marquez like he was a bitch. Um, and like in feminine ways. And Marquez do present himself like that. This interaction with the side piece and the one cheating, this shit got Martel and Carlos written all over it. In my opinion. 
This got Carlos and Martel written all over it. Carlos is stung because Marquez was talking shit and wasn't going with his script. Also, I don't think that Carlos wanted to review his show. He was doing it to try to seem like he was down with the program because Dr. Heavenly was like, no, nah, bitch, we re reviewing your show too. We reviewing your shit too. Just like we was over here doing my show, getting me in all type of trouble with my people. We going, we doing yours. But then they was doing theirs and you know, she was saying too much. So he wanted to censor her on her shit on, on his show and do pre-records. Dr. Heavenly uh, vehemently denies liking this damn. She do not like doing the pre-records. She want to go live just like they do with her shit. So when her shit come on, if she continue with Messy Mondays, then she should tell him, no, we, we, going, we pre-recording the shit too. Or how about I don't even do the shit anymore either. Because I think she said she ain't doing Married to Medicine either. I know she said she's not doing um, Love and Marriage, but I think she said she's not doing um, Married to Medicine either because um, she don't... It was something that her and Ken talked about. Her and uh, Marquez talked about that changed her mind. And he, he put out a post or something. Let me see what phone I screenshotted that on. Cause I know it was something that I seen where he was saying something to um he was saying something to um Doctor Heavenly. And I thought it was strange. And I'm like, oh, this is why she said she don't want to do the Messy Mondays um, no more. So it was something that confirmed that Ken had talked to her. I forgot. It was something, y'all. I can't think of it right now. I might have did it on my other phone. I don't know. But anyway, back to this. So Carlos don't like that shit. And I think he had them start this shit tonight. I think he pumped Trisha and Ken to talk this shit to Marquez. And I don't know if he pumped Marquez to go and say some bullshit or whatever. But Trish let off on his ass. She op Well, she didn't open her motherfucking mouth. But she opened the motherfucking fingertips and got the typing on Instagram and was lighting his ass the fuck up. She was screenshotting his shit and posting it on her shit and she was tagging Ken in that shit. Now, is this shit tacky as fuck? Yes, it is. Um, she kept misgendering him as a girl. See, these are, this is a dangerous situation. And this is what Dr. Heavenly was talking about with Carlos. Because if, now Marquez, like I said, he do come across with a lot of feminine ways. Um, and he's very emotional. I ain't gonna say he's scared of Ken. I'm gonna say he, I, I I doubt if he gonna run up on him to try to fight him or whoop his ass or try to whoop his ass. Okay. So when people can't whoop your ass, and men don't play these type of games. So when people can't whoop your ass, when a man can't whoop another man's ass, 
and coupled with you having feminine ways, what you going to do? You going to revert to something else that will knock his ass down. And I don't like that. Because, Trish, this ain't y'all at home and shit no more. This shit public now. And you misgendering him to the public. Where his family can see this shit. Your family can see this shit. Your kids can see this shit. Your kids friends can see this shit. All this shit. And if he is gay. And. And, and don't. um Don't want to be out like that. You putting this shit again on a public fucking platform. Like I said, this ain't in the confines of y'all motherfucking homes and y'all talking shit to each other back and forth over the phone because I can't even fucking lie. Like that's that's the that when I, when I feel like you disrespecting me, that's the type of shit I say. Okay, that's that's the, that's the shit I do. So it gets lethal and reckless as fuck and disrespectful as fuck. But you can't do that shit on no fucking platform, no public platform like this. Now y'all public figures. And not not just like y'all talking shit and then, you know, whatever, whatever, behind the scenes. Now everybody's seeing this shit. And you got to think about how the fuck your kids going to feel when they see you calling their daddy gay and shit. And all type of women. How you think they gonna feel? How you think their friends gonna feel and be teasing them saying your daddy gay? But Trish, also with your motherfucking ass. So so far, we know you well we think you you've been tied to three three guys. Two out of the three been accused of being gay Trish young man come here come here young man okay you giving young man off Medea so there ain't no motherfucking prize of cookies for you to be saying that shit especially with you uh, with the motherfucking damn nine pack okay so you might want to take it easy. Because you giving also. Half man, half woman. Okay. So could that be why the gay boys like you? So why you trying to jones him? It's giving jones him back to you, ma'am. I'm just saying. Okay. So let me get into some of the little mess they had going on okay so Trish posted me listening to my husband complain about my attitude. And she has this little monkey face up here. And that apparently was from earlier in the day. Because that was from like 22 hours ago. So that was like, she posted that like Friday or something like that. So, he must have been saying something on his IG. Plus, also, Trish could be pissed off that he was all up Melody's ass. And he was on Coleslaw motherfucking pictures liking them, too. We don't know how long they've been on there because we just found out really what his Instagram name was. So, he could have been on there and had liking the shit. But, but, I digress. So, she says, at Dark Skin Ken again. The girl tagging us in shit now? Dude, is you PMS? 
I guess it's supposed to be PMSing. Or your dude didn't show you no love today. At Mr. Make It Happen 365. Then she says, at Dark Skin Ken, I'm starting to think this ninja at Mr. Make It Happen, 365, man, I got you, and he don't. I told y'all it was something fishy about him keep on calling that man chocolate. Okay? I know this is off topic. But just coincidentally, I have two male friends. Both of their names are Ken. Both of them are dark skinned. And just so happened, one of their names, one of their nicknames is Cho Chocolate. Like other men don't call him Chocolate. They either call him Ken or Choc. They don't say chocolate. Okay? So I found that a little fishy and weak wristed. I'm just going to be honest with that. He was too fixated on that chocolate shit. Then she says, because he tagged them in some other posts, and she said, and the post was like my wife for life or something like that and she he tagged uh trish and ken in it and he said this dude so lame this the female shit he be on and in person won't say shit and tag trish this ninja trish said trish shared dark skin ken post and said you were supposed to we were married but at dark skin Ken now don't bring the petty out of me you was me and other ninjas too oh Ken um, Marquez screenshotted this and this is what he said um, and tagged them in it but Marquez didn't you say that um, it was no infidelities in y'all marriage That was your mark words. So Trish said at Dark Skin Ken, this ninja at Mr. Make It Happen 365, bigger than the pussy he came out of. Damn, did you finally decide to tap into your soft girl era? And she put these little tissue faces. This why Trish don't talk. Because she do, when she do, you better get the fuck on. <laughs> this motherfucker like the calm before the storm. She let off on his ass. She not playing with him. Then she posted, dude, at Dark Skin Ken, dude done started playing with his nose and think he's Superman, ain't he? Cha. Not Marquez been in Atlanta on that. Cha. And Mr. Make It Happen 365. Hey, you better sit your little ass down. <laughs> this what I'm saying like you emasculating this boy on this uh, man whatever on y'all public figures now Trish this is a dangerous ass fucking game and to keep sunning him because your dude bigger than him he ain't gonna come to fight 
Especially since he ain't gonna want to get his ass whooped. But that don't necessarily mean he gonna get his ass whooped. But it does mean nine out of ten he gonna get that ass whooped if he approach Ken in that kind of manner. Okay, if they want to just get physical. Um, this is dangerous. This is not good. And like I said, this has Martel and Carlos written all fucking over it. Then she says, hey, bitch, you know you don't fuck, you done fucking, you done oh, fucked up now, don't you? And Mr. Make It Happen, your pie ass shouldn't have tagged me in shit. Not a pie. What kind of pie? Child. Trish said, I've been quiet. Leave me the fuck alone. This this how we want Mel to get. <laughs> well, she did get like that that time. Remember? Y'all remember way back. What was that? August 2022. Wasn't that August 2022 when her and Martel was all fucking Instagram lighting it up? Trish said, Carlos trying to reinvent this shit too. And that's why I said it got Martel and Carlos written all over it. She said, at Mr. Make It Happen, I would say pull up, but I don't, I don't want to give you your bitch ass money to get here. Damn, now she got to pay for the Uber. I thought you had gave her $5,000 on that house. Trisha, you paid him that back yet since Ken there? She basically saying you broke. Broke, bro. Brokeity, bro. Because she going to have to pay for you to come and get that ass whooping over here. And she don't even want to do that. They'll just come to you. How about that? Save the gas money. Then she said, at Dark Skin Ken. Man, dude, you know me in real life. Like, I know your fruit of the loom ass. Don't fuck with me, little bitch. At Mr. Make It Happen. Fruit of the Loom. Yet. You ain't identify none of these bitch ways of Martell, uh, Trish. Is that why you saying you only went over the house that time and, and he was talking and all that shit about Melody and it reminded you of your husband and you got the fuck on? Did you identify this gayness in Martell? A legend? Then she said, don't get quiet now, Dookie. Child, not the Duke shoot. Where you at, little bitch? Little bitch, she did stormy friend. Child. Uh. Then she said, "Act dark skin, Ken." Then she said, "Ah, uh, got me on one on this good Saturday. I'm done with the BS until enjoy your Sabbath, little bitch." Trish and Ken, where have you been? At that damn gym cheating on my quest. <laughs> Child. But this was the one. This was the one. And like I said, I ain't going to go too hard on her. Because. This that bullshit I used to be on. But Trish. This the shit. This this shit that to get somebody fucked up. In a bad way. And Ken. Your bitch ass shouldn't have let her do this. Because he reposted it too. And this is wrong. It's, it's wrong. Like I said, if, if, if y'all, if like if you was just sending this to him and shit like that, well, it, it is what it is. 
But y'all public figures now. And you posting this shit on a fucking public platform. Ken, let me talk. I mean, Trish, let me talk to you, young man. Why the fuck is your daughter hugging on this man like this? That shit not cute. I changed my mind. I am about to rip off into your ass because I don't like this motherfucking picture. Okay, for a couple of reasons. Look how close they are. That's not that's that's too close for comfort for a two year relationship, motherfucker. This too close. She too old for you to be letting another guy that's not her fucking daddy hug up on her like this. And why the fuck is he hugged up on her like that and she got them little ass motherfucking shorts on, bitch? You posted this. You posted this. <clears throat> and Ken sorry ass posted this shit too. So we gonna talk about it. Your daughter on here. Hugged up. And she like a preteen or something. Hugged up. With your fucking boyfriend. She's up on him. They're close like this. That shouldn't be happening. That's not her fucking daddy. You only been with this motherfucker for two years, you claim. She ain't grow up with him. I don't give a fuck how many daddy daughter dances he went to with her. And she got on those little ass motherfucking shorts. Bitch you need your ass whoop. Yeah Trish. Why you, why you, why you trying to fucking talk shit about um, 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 Marquez being an ain't shit motherfucker. You ain't either. You ain't either. I don't like this fucking picture. I'm going to tell y'all that right now with his ugly ass on this picture. You can barely see his motherfucking ass. He look like a fucking shadow. And to be honest... This picture don't look new. Because Ken look way bigger than this. Sorry y'all. I got this um, vapor rub on. Ken look way bigger than this now. So this is an old picture. It looked in my opinion. He too happy to be hugging on my fucking daughter like that. Why and, and, and why the only issue is with, with, with him and the daughter? What's his interest in the damn girls? And I know some men just love little girls. They not not in that type of way, y'all. I know they just love the 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 they just love to spoil little girls. Because he also has an attachment like this with the, the daughter of his ex bitch that he was fucking with while he was with you too. That he's claiming her and she's not biologically his. I 
I done got pissed off. What y'all think about this shit? I, 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 I'm, and I'm not making no accusations toward Ken. This picture is just inappropriate. That's that's what I'm saying. And since her bitch ass wanted to fucking post this shit, yo old he man looking ass about to get in. I'm about to get in your ass. We're getting in your ass because I think this picture is inappropriate. Your daughter don't know this motherfucker like that. You don't even hug up on this motherfucker like this. Let's be clear on that shit. I ain't never seen this type of affection with you and Ken. But he this affectionate with your fucking daughter? Not to mention them little ass shorts she got on. This is equivalent to letting your daughter sit on his motherfucking lap. I bet that be happening too, huh? I bet you you fine with that shit too, huh? Keep fucking with that boy. You think he gay and acting like a girl. Keep fucking with him. This is not going to end well, Trish. This not what y'all want to do. Stop this shit. And I'm not relinquishing Marquez motherfucking ass. Because she ain't been saying shit about him. And he have been tagging her and shit. He in that, but he in their motherfucking face. This how I'm telling y'all. This motherfucker is slow. He can be smart. Book smart as fuck as he want to. But this, he, he. I don't think he that much book smart either. I don't give a fuck. This motherfucker says tooths. And I'm not going to forget that shit. Okay. And this motherfucker is in his wife's face, sitting there with his girlfriend, telling them that this meeting is to get her back. Not to talk about no divorce. Who the fuck does that? But when you was with her one-on-one, -on -one, y'all was talking about a fucking divorce. Does that make sense to y'all? Do that have a motherfucker make any damn sense? And this motherfucker can make two of you. And you gonna sit in his face and tell him that your wife <laughs> is about to be unestranged again. Because y'all about to be back together. You ain't talked to Trish about it. You said this was about to happen. And her doing this shit right now, Stormy, y'all fucking plotted to try to make this motherfucker look like he was a woman beater by calling him mister. And when he defended himself, it looked like y'all on attack on him now. Because one thing I didn't see your motherfucking damn strong face ass do, Trish, Jawbone, I didn't see your motherfucking ass deny any of the shit that he did, that he said that he said you didn't deny anything that he said y'all did you went straight for his manhood talk about the shit he was saying about y'all fucking with each other when he you was married to him talk about that and again why is none of these motherfuckers um upset or concerned about Martel it's given that Carlos had them throw Martel in just to get him some type of storyline and this is was one of the um he had posted Marquez had posted um, Trish messaged to him. She messaged him on Facebook, and and Trish like you going in for a motherfucker that said that you and Marquez was best friends that didn't talk. And if he was all this Duke shooting and all this shit, and <laughs> why the fuck you ain't been trying to divorce this motherfucker? Why it's taking all this time? Seem like you like that shit. And it seemed like the gay guys like you. So she says to him, Yes. 
That Dr. Heavenly interview is where you messed up. Now I'm about to air your whole family business and you and your family um, friends business. It's go time. Now you did an interview talking shit about him. And he didn't talk shit about you in the interview. He just said you was messing with Ken. When now y'all was married. That's what he said. He didn't talk bad about you. And from what it looks like, he's not lying when he said you was. He didn't talk bad about your family. He said your family is like to keep secrets. And it looked like you do. Because apparently, you didn't even tell your fucking family you was with a whole nother fucking man and not your husband for two years. And y'all was living together. And especially with y'all having both of y'all parents die within six fucking months. And then you had a fucking one of the siblings pass away. That usually make motherfuckers closer. Weird ass. Oh, you know what? He did say that little trauma shit. But that was like a subliminal shit. I don't know. I, I probably would have took offense to that shit too. Um, But it wouldn't have been nothing to where it was like you fucked up. You know what the hell he was talking about. Y'all been together since y'all been kids. She tell him when he sent when she, when he shared that screenshot of that message and said, "No worries, God got me." Hashtag my truth. Hashtag your reality. Play pray for our children. And she said, "Oh, I am, girl. Trust me. Don't start if you can't finish, little girl." At Mister Make It Happen three six five, and then she did the shit with Ken. 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 Let me tell you something. Since you riding with a motherfucker so tough, the same thing he do, she do with you. She'll do to you. There's the same shit we was trying to tell Slaw while she was riding so hard for fucking Martell and look at these dumb motherfuckers now. I'm starting to believe you and Trish really is in a relationship. Um, and since you was fucking on his wife whatever shit they have going on you let them handle that shit you shouldn't be saying a motherfucking thing about it unless he get into a place where he about to get physical or some shit with her or he want to come and jump out and disrespect her But he haven't disrespected her, not that I done fucking seen. And telling the truth or, or telling his recollection of what the hell happened and when y'all start fucking with each other ain't disrespectful either. Now this part right here was funny as shit. She said, at Mr. Make It Happen, oh, your bitch ass went and cried in the car. Y'all remember uh, Red from uh, <laughs> for Friday <laughs> when Debo took his chain and saw he was like, it was like, can I have my bike back? And he was like, what bike? You mean my bike? And he ran off. <laughs> Y'all, Trish ain't shit. This the real Trish right here. And she posted the picture of him and 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 the daughter, Ken and the daughter. Ken looking like a damn shadow on crack, cause all you can see is his fucking teeth. And she says, "At Mister Make It Happen, bitch, you can't even afford an opinion or a license to see it with." <laughs> I know one thing he need a motherfucking light and that's to see dark skin Ken he probably can't even see who the fuck this is when
over his damn daughter. Is this even Ken? <laughs> You been? <laughs> Let me stop fucking with this damn man. I can't see his ass, and he the one called himself dark skin kid. I ain't call him that shit, okay? He made that name up, and, and it does fit, motherfucker. Because the motherfucker, we you darker than dark skin? Cause I can't see your ass in this damn picture, and it's broad fucking daylight. Why you try to flex on somebody? <laughs> I cannot. I cannot. Uh, Trish, I ain't gonna even go into Marquez shit because this is got out of hand. But y'all fucking with a dangerous game. Y'all playing a dangerous game. And I don't like that you doing this shit publicly. Like I said, if you was doing this shit behind the scenes with him, I I wouldn't give a fuck. But this picture is out of fucking order. It's in a fucking appropriate. And you making yourself look bad, not him. And address what the fuck he said y'all was doing instead of trying to come after his manhood. Okay? Because remember in the words of Marquez or Marquez Nobody know you like the people that know you. Okay? <laughs> I'm about to end this shit with these tubes. And y'all, please put tubes in the motherfucking chat for me. If y'all know what I'm saying, the girls who get it, get it. The girls who don't need tubes. Okay? That's all I got for y'all. Y'all, like this video and, and subscribe to the channel. What do y'all think about this? This is bad. This is bad. Ken, you is giving slow motion. You giving slow, slow vibes. And Trish is giving Martell. So when Mar Mar Marceau said that shit, it is kind of giving this shit. <clears throat> he made the comparison. I ain't like it at the time, but it's starting to fit. Even though he should set his old fucking golf hole mouth ass up. Period. Somebody need to knock a damn golf ball and put one in his motherfucking mouth. Because that's what his mouth is. A hole in fucking one. Okay? So let's get into this comments and let me know what y'all think about this video. Okay? What y'all think about Ken and them uh, and, and Trish and, and Marquez? Kiss. Trish is showing her ass. And not the way she was at Stormy Party. Okay? Y'all, I gotta go. Bye. Oh my gosh, ew. Hold on, Tony. Huh? Hold on, Tony. Hold on. What'd you say? I said, hold on, Tony. Hold on, baby.